evening. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Good to have you. So tonight we in our welcome our viewers. I see Pam Julia. Okay, Kwazi there. Okay, and Sula just left us. So they'll be back. So um, and welcome to our self love coach, marriage counselor, as well as the owner of uh, Be More You Lifestyle. Hi, Lester. Hello. Hi, Ify. How are you? I'm great. And yourself? I'm very well. I'm very well. And very how's well. the lockdown? How are you adjusting to the lockdown? Um, I'm adjusting quite well. I actually just recently um, relocated from I'm good. All is well. Okay. Okay. We're having some network interruption right there. Can you hear okay. me now? No, okay. I can hear you. So, so tonight is the third episode of our five-part series that is mm -hmm. uh, titled Overcoming Effects of COVID-19. And this is proudly brought to you by Ipilenkes Foundation. We are... Mm -hmm discussing tonight the make it or break it point in a relationship so how is COVID-19 affecting relationships yeah so just to get on with it I've been making you know a lot of observation with regards to relationships and obviously the lockdown can come as a blessing and um, to some people because you're getting your chance you know the long waited um, law, the, 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 the um, you, you get in a chance and time to spend with family, time to spend with kids, more with yourself again. But it can also be a dread, especially since it happens so, um, you know, unexpected. There mm. was no planning around it. And some people may feel that, you know, their usual routine has been disturbed. So in that way, you know, there's a lot of adjustment to be done in terms of, you know, adjusting to working at home, taking care of the kids, not having some help there because others had to let go of their helpers for the lockdown period. So, yes. you know, there's been quite, you know, I can only imagine that there might be some strain on a relationship that can lead mm -hmm. to making or breaking it. Sure. So my first question is, um, sorry, how can change in routine affect couples? Change in routine. Yes. Well, um, from a coach's point of view, change is always good. Um, okay. When there's change, there's an expansion, and there's. Okay. Um, there's new ways of coming up with things. So there's a new, there's a newness, there's a beauty of newness and that assists you with creating, um, a new normal, you know? So, um, some people adjust to change in a positive way. Some people don't. So with other people, it could be more of a contraction, um, a reaction. So, um, instead of looking, it's like, Oh no, this just happened. Um, then you focus on which is reality as well. Then you focus on the maybe the money you just lost if you are self-employed or if you were employed now, um, but you must stay home, your salary is cut in half. So there's certain things, certain stresses that came with the change. Um, so we shouldn't neglect that. So there's the positive side of it. So that makes you closer as a family. And then there's the negative side of it that where like roles had to change as well. Um, for example, as a woman, all you were working again. And then what you did was make sure you come back home, cook, make sure that the kids have done their homework and everything else around that and you become the wife, right? Um, I'm just making an example with a married couple. 
now that and now that there's COVID nineteen, all of a sudden you wear the cap of being a cleaner again. You wear the cap of being the laundry girl again. You wear the cap mm. of um, of being the teacher. You wear so many caps all of a sudden, and it's overwhelming. On top of the caps that you've been wearing, and already your life was a bit um, hectic. So um, there's a you know there's something we. And there's a lot of confusion because you don't know how to adjust to the whole thing. Oh my God. You don't know how to adjust to the whole thing. So the best thing to do with change is to name the situation. Um, for example, and say, okay, I've lost my, um, I've lost the income. So there's an income change. So if you, you know it by name, you're able to then deal with it. Um, so if I think the best thing to do is name the situations, which, okay, now I'm a teacher. Um, what do I do as a teacher right now? So don't try to play all roles at the same time. Just focus, name one, and then focus on one particular role. Otherwise, this whole thing of um, being thinking, multifaceted and being, what are we proud of as women? Um, we are able to do multitasking that's the word yes, multitasking yes. It, doesn't, it doesn't help anybody because you spread yourself too thin and then you get overwhelmed and get stressed so it's best to just focus on one particular role and then move on to the next so change can be change is always positive actually um so um it's how you find your rhythm in the new normal i hope i answered your question yes we did in there <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I, I i love how the approach of saying that you know change is we should embrace the change um, yeah. some things are very easier said than done hey because uh-huh. like i said you know we were told on tuesday i think it was on the 24th that hey everybody no it was on the 18th that you know everybody this is what's going on the president will notify us in no time and then boom, 24th, you get, we get told on the 26th, it's a total lockdown. So there was not enough time to prepare. There was not enough time to, you know, adjust to, to, to get yourself in that rhythm of wearing all the hats as you put it. So mm-hmm. how should, you know, how, how should couples be? I'm very much sure that there might, there might be couples that are not handling this very well, the lockdown very well. How should they be handling all of this? How should they be, you know, is there a form of communication that you use as a form of, um, you know, way, a way, any way that as, as, a, as, a, as a marriage counselor, you know, you're able to assist and say, you know, let's look at it in this light. How okay. should the couples be handling this drastic, immediate change in their lives? Um, well, first of all, I think we take family meetings for granted. And by calling them meetings, maybe that's a terrible term as well. Um, But immediately when there's a change, you give yourself um, a breathing space to see what exactly is happening. So what happened was the first week of the lockdown, there was probably excitement or depression or whatever, but there was some type of breathing that happened, you know, just accepting um, which okay, so this is the new situation. How do we do it? And then mm-hmm. that's when that's very important. And then immediately after that, you then come up with ways of how to deal with the situation. So having a mm-hmm. family meeting, okay, guys, this is what's happening. Um, mommy and daddy are probably going to be around, or maybe before even mommy and daddy actually, just between the lovers. Okay, there's this there's this new thing. And the beauty of it was just we're gonna have a lot of sex and that's amazing. <laughs> However <laughs> and that's amazing. However, how do we we need to balance the whole thing? Because at first it's gonna be like when bam boom nandi, we see each other all the time and then after that it's yeah. gonna start fading away. So um it's best to just manage that. Um so you call it there's the sex part, there's the communication part, there's the part of what's happening in the house, how are we handling the kids, what's going to happen with the kids regarding homeschooling, you know, so you, you, you take a breather, 
um, take it in. You don't have to come up with solutions immediately. That's yeah. that's that's a terrible expectation. Um, mm-hmm. This whole thing of being positive all the time is not practical. So take a breather. Notice the negatives. Notice the positives, and try to maximize on the positive as much as possible. For example, the the sex part, which is very important. Sexual energy in a relationship creates um, an a uh, uh, a, a create, it's a creative energy. So yeah. it allows you to then come up with ways of sorting out a number of things. So you just saying, you know, you just having sex, already you're starting the healing of the communication. Um, and we take that for granted. We just think it's a web bank, thank you, ma'am. But you just doing that, you're already creating, you you know, you you finding I'm a foundation. Them. Yes. yes, the foundation of how you're going to handle it. It's the connection, the foundation of that. And then plan around that with that energy. Use that energy because it's very positive. Use that yes. energy to then come up with with um usual with better solutions for your relationship. So, um that's how I can advise people to just start with, you know, focus on more whatever that comes natural at the time. If need oh, Immediately you start arguing, so talk the arguing. If the immediate thing is not um, the sex, it's more of um, who's doing what? And like what's the halal, you know? Um, work on yes. that. Find solutions I'm, I'm, immediately. I'm, that, that's, that's one of the concerns, I think, because you yeah. know, some people had to ask their nannies or their helpers to actually go home, you know, for, yes. for the lockdown. So you find that there's this drastic change besides the immediate and drastic uh, change of going into lockdown now, or even other ladies have um, helpers who come who, who are not stay in. So now all of a sudden, all the work, all the, you know, house chores, I, I think, you know, that comes as a burden as well. But yes. I love how you, you know, how you, you, you're structuring it to say that, let's start with the positive energy utilize the positive energy because if we're using the creative energy sex as the creative energy then it's easy to lay a positive foundation and you know you can easily now you know communicate with your with your spouse and actually just laid out that okay things have changed this is what's going on and i think i'm going to need help with abc so now you know, they say too much of a good thing is bad. Now we're indulging. Let's say we're having too much sex now, you know. Yeah. And too much resting, too much um, spending time with the family. Now you, you know, it's, it's just becoming too much for you. Should, should you really be feeling guilty for wanting your me time? Remember now your, your, your routine has been disturbed. Your routine has been, you know, interrupted and it was fun the first week was fun you know spending time with the family movie time oh my word mom is cooking a storm i know i was just baking and cooking a storm i remember post i'm like yo (laughs) (laughs) you know and all of a sudden you just feel so tired now like okay i I can't keep up with this anymore you know should i be feeling guilty for, for 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 needing my me time no, it's imperative for you to have your me time um, because yeah. if you are not okay, then the family is not going to be okay, mm-hmm. especially as a woman in the house um, mm-hmm. because everybody, whether they like it or not, everybody really depends on the, the, the motion. You, you are the motion of the house. You create the energy of the house. Um, so when you're always tired and you're not available, then everybody else is going to, you know, just multiply that energy in the house. So it's imperative for you to have your own time, your personal time. Do not feel guilty at all. Plus, Rona, especially Vatubabansu, we have been um, lied to that being active, doing things all the time is um, you're the best wife. Ah. Mm. That's, that's just lies. Lies, 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 lies. 
What you need is your me time and rest. And actually, we should thank COVID-19 for actually forcing us to all rest. Because now, all of a sudden, finally, see rest. All of a sudden, everybody's sleeping. People, we have nap times. We have all sorts of things, things that never happened before. Mm. And we should actually appreciate that. Me time is imperative, EP. Don't ever feel yeah. guilty for that. When you, um, when you are given an opportunity like this to actually take a breather, you come, mm. we, you come up with the best ideas. Um, you, yeah. you discover that you can bake. Because go born, you're only busy. Hey, only busy guy because you discover that you're a cook. You discover that you're quite creative. There's so many discoveries that you, you actually find about yourself when you're arrested. And I understand that the first, the first, especially the first month, because a lot of us were in denial, you know, yeah. that this is happening. Yeah. I think now, since there's some um, acceptance of what's going on, what's happening, the first month really, because um, um, I, I was thinking we were, as, a, as the world, we are going through grief and we can't even say it's grief, you know? Mm, mm. Because we, we lost the world we used to live in. We lost a lot of things that were, were normal and we don't see it as grief. And yeah. that's why there's a lot of confusion. There was denial. And after that, like there's excitement because when, when something like this has happened, oh, I'm excited. Or it's all sorts mm. of things. You promise certain things. You start certain projects. You're like, oh my God. And then all of a sudden you realize that, no, actually it's time for me to rest. Let me come up with a better system of managing all this new free time. Because free time is quite confusing. You should ask self-employed people. Um, it's best when you go work. You know, and then all of a sudden you the time belongs to you. What are you going to do with the time? And that's also um, just as confusing. Um, then now you have to be more strict. You should actually have boundaries of how to come up with certain ways of, of have boundaries of how, how, what am I doing at this particular time? Or actually not even time, daily. So properly. Mm. I don't really have to, you know? So um, boundaries are quite important and lay this whole thing you have to make some, because the office is at home, like school is at home, yeah. the office is at home, um, the book is at home, uh, everything is at home, the sex is at home. Try not to, to do everything in the same room. Mm. Be, be specific with where the school is going to be so that mm. you know what, that's where the school is and respect those boundaries. Aolo Chapa, when you're, when you're taking a bath, you should make an announcement. It's mommy time. Mommy's taking a bath. Mommy needs some time to read and take care of herself. Then let daddy, daddy must have his time where he watches Honano uh, Hotswa, the relieve or for soccer, whatever. Daddy must have his time as well. The kids can have their time. You know, especially if you are staying in, in, in a house that has a mouse, has a yard. So have kids go play outside. Like have sections in the, in the house so that you understand, okay, well, this is what we're doing. When we're in the kitchen, we are eating, we are cooking. There's no school here. There's no, mommy, I have a question about this and this and this. When you want a question, mommy, I need help with the school thingy, my bob then I, I'll come to where the school is so that you you know there's clarity in the house as well. But doing everything, eating in the same in the same spot where you're schooling, where it brings a lot of con, uh, confusion to you as a person because there's no boundaries up. Mm. You need um, for you to um, find your specific, um, yeah, find the boundaries and be strict at that. But still be flexible. Don't be too strict. Yeah. Let's, let's not say too so, strict if that. So Hulu says, I asked my I asked my helper to go to go home for lockdown. I saw many faults and started with spring cleaning. And eventually my hubby helped. I'm not a morning person, so I got all my mornings to myself. Mm. So she, you know, she took charge of the situation and started cleaning her house the way she would love it to be 
and honey just stepped hubby just stepped in and started helping but I, I i can't say that's the case with most guys i saw one of my you know one of the posts on facebook uh and and the gents were saying you know we don't know what what's up with women you know when you are out when there's no lockdown you go out chill with your boys it's a problem when there's lockdown you sit at home and yeah it, it's still a problem because she looks at you like you just sit in there and i'm doing everything so <laughs> so you know men are getting confused and saying we cannot understand this fishy what she wants <laughs> and how she wants it because when i'm out there's a problem when i'm home there's a problem so yeah i guess um those that's one of those cases moving on oh. um there's a i saw that lerato khanyaho is getting a divorce mm-hmm. uh, she got married not even more than two months ago just before uh, the lockdown so you know i'm this brought a question to my mind that how would you go about advising couples who now want to make permanent decisions based on this temporary situation of covid-19 lockdown hmm. okay so it depends it really depends from one couple to the next um some some relationships were already gone before lockdown lockdown just put a stamp on it mm-hmm. you know and there's nothing wrong with that um there's nothing there's definitely nothing wrong with that some relationship got rekindled by the lockdown mm-hmm. some relationship communication um improved because they were not really talking the same language you discover that there's different love languages so you find a way of having a love language in the house so um regarding permanent decisions mm. um cuz maskuluma in in particular that situation na lerato um lerato discovered that her husband was was um is doing is a con artist of some sort so her removing herself from the situation um that's the best solution she can do for her for herself so in certain situations cuz um again remember there was stats that immediately when the lockdown happened um the violence of women being beaten up went higher the percentage yeah. of um of of um yes women abuse went higher Yes. so and you yes. can at that time you can really remove yourself from the situation um well that's what you think you can do you can re- you can always get out of a situation immediately oh what's important is what works for you mm. there is no wrong and right decision um when it comes to relationships cuz um some relationships are just here to teach us for for 2 months some of them are here to teach us for 10 years some of them they last 40 some of them it's infinite um so whichever we must just recognize what you are taught in that particular relationship so there is no wrong and right way really if it's a it's a bad to, if it's a bad decision because i don't believe in bad decisions and i don't be, you know i don't believe in good and bad i believe in a decision and sticking to it and really um, and finding a way to work around it um the, i i cause believing in certain things is about its competition and comparing and when you compare different situation you miss out on this particular one being present in what's happening right now Mm-hmm. so um i wouldn't i wouldn't really say it's bad it's good so do the best decision that that works for you in the present moment if it was an abrupt um abrupt decision then um you'll discover that because mm-hmm. sometimes um it takes you to have the guts to say this doesn't work for me yeah. and it probably doesn't work for you in this particular moment you know um 
However, because divorce takes a long time, it's a long process. You have to separate, you have to do all sorts of things before you finally, you know, um, be, be divorced. So allow that process to happen and see what happens in that process, you know. Um, never just make... Um, just say it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Maybe during, because they, in, in, in court cases, they actually say, have you seen a counselor? And they recommend that you go see a counselor. After that, if that didn't work out, then you know, which, you know, we've tried. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So divorce is, it, it's, it's a long process. It's, it doesn't take, it's, it's not like overnight. No, I'm leaving you. Da. Bye bye. It's it's not this. These are not the movies. It's not done that way. There's processes, and there, there's a reason why there's those processes. It's because sometimes you made an abrupt decision because you were very angry and whatever, and then um, you discover that no, actually, the reason why we made this certain decision is there was a background situation regarding that. So, yeah. as a coach, I say the best decision for the particular moment. Yes, do that. If you have to save yourself, if you have to, um, when you prioritize yourself, if that does, if this doesn't work for you, be honest with yourself and say, this doesn't work for me. I need to get out. I need some space. I need this and that, you know, express what you need because that's very important when you're making that type of a decision. Always express what you need and what works for you. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just the decision that has to be made. Stick to it and then see what comes out of it. Okay, so <laughs> Nomsa is laughing her lungs out. She says, so true, hey. Um, I'm not sure if she was referring to our comment earlier on about us not knowing what we want. And mm -hmm. Queen Musoto says, okay, her network is bad. Okay, 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 babes, no problem. We'll see you soon. Uh, this whole thing of women don't know what they want. No, not really. Hey, yeah. Um, yeah. we mostly it's like they we probably don't know our issue as women because I used to have that same challenge. We think guys know what we are thinking. So, like, I'll clean, for example, when I'm cleaning. And mm -hmm. the guy is watching TV and I'm cleaning the dining room. In your mind, you are thinking, why yeah. Osa movie? You yeah. give him that look yeah. of do <laughs> like what's going on. And yeah. we need to express that. We need to say, um, Kika Mugatlina, is it possible for you to do something else? Or can you help me this side and you can continue watching? So you actually our challenge is that we think guys should read our minds. These guys are not mind readers. They're very practical people. Um, the yeah. masculine male species have a different way of dealing with things. Unlike us. So now we feel we do certain things and then we express more. Well, now, if you don't say anything, they're not going to know. Like they're not going to. Like, they, they, they don't assume like we do. Yeah. We like, yes. like, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, when I went out, no quad. Now I'm here. I'm here with you. You have to tell him what especially how dude, what you want? Uh, what's going on? So you have to actually express. So there's nothing like that. Well, women, we don't know what we want. We know exactly what we want. It's just that we don't know how to express it sometimes. We think you are mind readers. And Lilo Una guys really assist in the house. Because this, this person all of a sudden is wearing so many caps and they are not used to that. All of a sudden, yeah. and that usually you were just thinking of supper. Now all of a sudden, it's like breakfast, lunch, snacks, eat. those popcorns. Nobody's willing to assist. Come on, you know, play your part. There's no need for, you know, it depends. I suppose, um, I'm, I suppose I'm lucky that I don't go through that with my husband. I ask him, dude, Nina, please help me with this. This is what I'm doing. This is what we're going to do. Assist me yeah. with this because we need to, one of the best things that we have is just communication. So if I don't express it, I, it's like, mm. ah, okay. You won't know. Yeah. You won't know. Yeah. So, you know, you mentioned earlier that, you know, one of the best practices that families can do 
or even couples that they can utilize at this time is having a meeting, a family meeting. Yes. Um, you know, and now I want to know if there's more practices that, you know, couples can do to improve their relationship during this COVID-19 um, pandemic. Yes. There's a lot of things you can do. This mm. is time to play house. Like, this is time to be very imaginative, play with your creative side of, uh, of your life, you know? Mm. Be kids again, date again, um, um, have fun in the house, you know, date again. Um, and how do the date, I can, you don't need to be dressed up and also the, because the law now we think date get up, dress up. Have mm. fun, have imagine. I mean, but why not? No, you can't. Why not that? plan a, a date night? Sure, you can do that, but not all the time. You don't always have a date night. There's other things that you can do. There's things mm -hmm. you can do like eye gazing ex uh, exercises. Just sitting on the bed, the two of you, just looking at each other eye to eye without moving and just looking at each other. At first, it's going to what be weird. What is that supposed to do? <laughs> what is eye gazing supposed to do that? <laughs> It's called eye gazing. It's actually help, it actually helps with, with your connection, especially with your sexual energy and just you connecting um, for other reasons besides sex. So it's an actual thing. You do eye gazing, look at each other, and at first it's going gonna, it's gonna to be weird at first. You're going to laugh your head off because you're not going to keep still for a long time. But practice it as much as possible because what it does it then assists you with communicating with your eyes. Not all the time. You don't have to communicate with words all the time. Um, it assists you with communicating with your eyes as well. When you're across the room, if you'd like to go sneak out, you know, go sneak out. Remember when you were starting to date Mama Khao at Halejola, Mama Khao at Kachela, and then you like, no, Jobe, no, no, quickly come in my room. They're coming in, you know, do things like yeah, that, even though yeah. you know you're out. Yes, it's like sneak around, do things, go piss in the corner, or something, you know, do, mm -hmm. play around, be creative, um, play house with your kids, play house, you know, play house and pretend that you are the celebrities that you are dating, um, mm -hmm. um, you know, do pretend it's like one of the best things to do create the mystery create the mystery you know, recreate it have fun like there is nothing wrong with just coming up with things dressing up um but yeah. that the thing is that you do well and oh yes that before lockdown oh no no that's when i get it dressing up because you need to shift that um remember we're in a new normal so you need to sort of spice up the things that you used to do. But if you like, really like those things, bring them in and have more of those things. So spice it up. Be sneaky. Um, mm. Bake his favorite, cook his favorite meal. Now I know what to cook for my husband when I want certain things. There's a certain meal. He's a Zulu man um, yeah. who know who... When I want something, I tap into that Zuluness, you know? I tap into that. A very modern of We tap into the Sutu man, tap into the Yeah. Are you cooking like a samp and... Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, and there's, there's them to do things that you know what you know. If I play this take baths mm. together take oh, showers I together. It. yeah i know yeah. it's my favorite things take yeah. showers together massage each other randomly even in front of the kids because sometimes we don't we like hiding certain um connections between mm. us in front of the kids. even in front mm. of the kids kids um, make them feel uncomfortable with that mommy and daddy are in love. They will learn a lot from that, you know. Kiss in front of yeah. them. That's okay now in between you guys. Like, ew, mommy. That, that's mm -hmm. very good for them. And it'll teach them, you know, some type, you know, there should be some beautiful love energy in the house. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Throw parties. Um, I, think in the I house. think this is, I think this is very easy for, couples that are friends you know that 
don't fight as much. And then you yeah. find couples who are always at each other's necks and in all honesty, being away from each other, going to work and just being out there was sort of a, a, a relief for them, if I have to put it that mm-hmm. way. So now that they have to be in the lockdown, in the house with each other 24-7, you know, there's a way that they need to now break this coldness, break this ice between them. Mm-hmm. And and by ice, I don't mean, you know, the normal way we're using it. They need to break this this hostility between the two of them. So mm-hmm. how do they go about that? How, you know, what would you suggest? I know for me personally, I just thought maybe start being kind to each other, you know? Um, it goes back to saying, write letters to each other again. Remember why you are together in the first place. Mm. Um, if there's a lot of confusion, remember why you are together in the first place. Mm-hmm. Um, and start working from there. And really have a family meeting. Have a meeting where you're like, okay, this is very weird for us. You know, name it. Because it's important to name it. So, Because when you're aware of something, you're able to then deal with it. Name it. Yeah. yeah. It. Weirdness, the, how can we sort out the weirdness? Like, I, I, can't, I can't just pretend you're not here. You know, um, this whole thing of people pretending that, that they are not in the house, uh, it does not work. Name it and say, okay, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. Write each other letters, have comments. That's why the eye gazing thing is important because mm-hmm. what's going to happen is that um, it's going to break, um, break this mm-hmm. uncomfortability, yeah, the hostility. And you'll be able to then um, cry if you need to cry. You'll mm. be able to um, laugh if you need to laugh. And it's important for like connection, even if you don't, you're not having sex. Because sometimes mm. other relationships, there was not even sex anymore. So yeah. start by actually hugging and doing these eye gazing taking baths together, cuddling. It's so powerful, just physical touch mm. um, for mm. relationship. Um, it's very important. It's so imperative for couples to just keep on touching, especially Abakwatalan. Um, there's a movie called uh, A Story of Us, Sia Bruce Willis, and I don't remember the other the lady's name, where they were at the verge of really divorcing, and then they reminded themselves, why were they together in the first place and yeah. one of the things that kept them together was even if they were fighting at least their feet were touching right mm. um, it doesn't mm. matter how much they're facing against each other whatever at least their feet touched and they knew that yeah. they were still in this together but immediately when they stopped touching with their feet then they knew that they're in a bad place, you know? Mm. So have the mm. um, you know, there's a little rub that happens. Um, there's yeah. still some, some type of um, physical connection that you're doing. Because yeah. now I know that with, with my husband, there's a certain gesture that we do. Um, mm. Even if we're not in the best place, and then we just touch each other and just to recognize we're there. Even, you know, spooning accidentally mm. turn to, you know, accidentally, <laughs> accidentally. With, <laughs> sure. or him accidentally turning and cuddling mm. with you. Have those yeah. moments and those powerful moments, we take that for granted. Um, mm. Us have just have physical connection. You know, that little dab of a kiss, and just kiss his hand, which, thank you. And we, mm. we don't actually don't actually prioritize things like saying thank you, um, mm. I love you, um, you know, just leaving a note, um, thanks for yesterday or something, you know, I'm grateful that you did this uh, for me yesterday. Um, I was about thanks to for say the- that. Uh, I was about to say that with, the, with your eye-gazing uh, technique that, you know, sometimes when you, even when you're upset and you're looking through your partner's eyes, just look through their soul and remember the good things that this person did for you. 
you know sure start counting them and start being grateful because it's gratitude is one of the most powerful uh, energies as well you know it can mm-hmm. it can help you to you know can meet you halfway to remembering what you love about this person you know just Definitely. by looking and remembering how good this person has been to you remember those times when you were sick or you were your mom was not feeling well and he was the one running around you know going to get groceries to your mom's house things like that small things that you might have forgotten or you might have missed you know mm-hmm. so I, I i really i was going to say that when you say write a, a, a grateful a, a, a note a gratitude note it, it's one of the most powerful thing i think you must you must exercise definitely so, um, how do we get hold of you i mean you are a self love coach as well as a marriage counselor i think more people might be interested in knowing more of your about your services so how do we get hold of you um getting hold of me i have a, a an instagram called be more you this is my personal one and then the name of my company is called hosi le lifestyle um and my email address is lesego at hosile.co.za um regarding the couples thing the couples um counseling our age is we do it together my husband and i mm. um and we find because usually in 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 counseling couples don't really get um the gentlemen don't really get an opportunity to express themselves because mostly the women women do the talking so and uh, we we found that it brings a beautiful balance where you can be comfortable having you know a peer in the room so we do that um together i also have a um a youtube channel called hosile tv actually we were covering um just today we were recording um ch- um you know tools there's there's tools and things that we advise couples on what to do during covid-19 and how to deal with certain situations so um go on youtube there's hosile tv and yeah you can get hold facebook hosile lifestyle uh, my website is www.hosile.co.za and mm-hmm. my contact details are 0781538104 um so you can contact um me directly and yeah and cuz currently i akona akona the pa and all sorts of things right now so you can contact me directly and then we can um we can work around how we can yeah how we can do hey, and there's a self love cuz that's why i'm i'm so passionate about taking care of yourself it's imperative you must have a me time especially the first 2 hours of the day they must mm. just be for you. people should not interrupt you you should just focus on yourself so that you gather up the energy to handle everybody else and everything else so yeah those are the services that i do thank you so much so thank you for joining us tonight and for some advice on how to handle our relationships you know during this covid-19 ep- pandemic and lockdown we you know i i think someone is taking something out of this conversation tonight i know i'm taking a lot out of this conversation from you know from tonight mm-hmm. and we're looking forward to you know to more conversations with you because i i think the the self love coach part also got my attention because um you know there's more that we want to do so this is not the last time we're having you on here and i want the viewers to actually join us for next week tuesday we'll be talking to nom sama musofu she's a mom mm-hmm. to an autistic child so we will be discussing how mothers are you know handling covid-19 as well as we we actually going over mothering during covid-19 especially to a child with special needs so thank you so much for your time for tonight Thank you for inviting me. It was fun. It was fun. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Good, good night. night. Bye. Bye. Bye.